Mr. O'Banion sends his congratulations. Mr. O'Banion offers his condolences. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. O'Banion wants his money. Better not to vow than to vow and not pay. He had that much money on him in that moment? Okay, the... Someone looks shaky enough to retire. Put the cup down. It is overcooked. Might be a little hard. It is inedible. <laughs> if that's what you think, why did you then serve it? Then why did it? you serve it? Yes, exactly. <laughs> I have not packed your bags yet. Do you need some help? I'm perfectly capable of preparing you for your trip. I didn't say you weren't. Somehow I believe I am up to the task of selecting your shoes, your shirts, your suits, and your delicate undergarments. <laughs> <laughs> well, they are delicate, so you never know. Might be too much for you. Do you wish to be driven to the construction site today? Yes, I but not by to you. Walk, do you wish me to drive you? You have other things to do. I do not. What about the undergarments? We ain't found that woman. You side wine in just to tell me that. What you want from me? I've been up, down, all over, back around again. Want you to come tell me something else? That attitude. It's his fault, so how about he cleans up his mess? Nick here is gonna show you around. Now, don't forget to take some good pictures. Nick, don't forget to show him that playground. Don't forget to take photos of this nice dirt. My cut. You thought I'd forget? You'll have it first thing tomorrow. Is that okay? Of course it is. And then we'll get started on the next one. That dude should grow some boards and make life harder for Nucky. <laughs> He's the mayor after all. <laughs> I met him on a train heading west from New Jersey. He paid me to kill you and Werner and the men you sent after him. How much did he offer? A thousand. Also, how did he know that you're a killer, Richard? Do you have any family? Put the bullet in. That's what Carl's paying you for, isn't it? I asked you a question. Why didn't you ask the other guys? Wasn't one of them even talking about his family? Fred? I guess we'd both prefer a private booth at the knife and fork. Take it on the way back. Has this guy always been dirty? I just wanted to tell you man to man that is the new head of the prohibition enforcement in Atlantic City. Where are you from? Me? I'm from Iowa. Where in Iowa? Atkins. Where is that? Iowa. What's this? It is the Davenport. And there is a credenza in table which is new coming Friday. Cedar chest and bed of maple. How much is all this? Three hundred sixty dollars. We don't have that. These things I buy on time. Fifteen dollars a week. That's over half my pay. Twelve months and we are done. <laughs> you need to understand. I live with the walls that are not painted and the doors not hanging. I can't hang the doors. I've explained this. They sent the wrong doors with the kit. Then maybe you shouldn't spend money before all of this is fixed. What the fuck? <laughs> How you doing, friend? Oh, peaches. And this is cream. This guy again. <laughs> now he's annoying Chalky instead of Nucky. Bring these people another round on the house. Oh, no, we couldn't. But we will. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Valentin Narcisse. And you've met Mrs. Pastor. Your employee slashed the throat of my employee. What shall we do, Mr. White? What shall we do? We should make you disappear. Because you annoy me already. With your fake accent. Can't we just go? Please. You wish to leave it at this? I pick it up in the first place. <laughs> From me. Your resignation? What is it? Oh, Perhaps Eddie, you should open it. You'll be missed. You could just tell me. I am resigning. <laughs> because of the eggs? <laughs> because you do not treat me seriously. He never has, though, so... <laughs> Are you quitting or asking for a promotion? This will be for you to decide. <laughs> Eddie had enough. <laughs> Is he hurt? He's just dying. 
How about you shoot him? I'm sorry. I can't. All right. Give it to me. Don't you have any pet doctors around, actually? Maybe you should visit one of those first. Mr. O'Banion has me delivering flowers. I'm not involved in anything else. You hurt yourself on a thorn? Don't say I don't know. I believe Mr. O'Banion hopes very much. Why is he such a coward, dude? I know he's been like that the entire last season too, but it's nowhere near what he used to be in the first two seasons. Agent Knox. Uh, second in his class, James Polk High School. Four years as a sales clerk. Then his ascension to the Bureau of Prohibition. Where's he from? Knoxville. <laughs> they can't buy the mayor's office and they can't bully their way in either. We stand here today under the same... Under... You should have invested in security, dude. <laughs> 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 how did he know what hotel they were at? Dicky was resourceful. Say how much and let's end it. You see why I wish to deal with you? I don't think I do. Only <laughs> kings understand each other. Just here to help a friend in a delicate situation. This man is your friend. 10% of the club. That's a fair price. You're going to pay it. That's my judgment. <laughs> As a friend. <laughs> You signed an order for his release. You signed a lot of orders, son. I'm not your son. Enoch Thompson. I know who he is. You know of him? Or you know him? Who are you? Not your son. Who is this child? <laughs> what the hell is this? That's the cash you gave me yesterday, sir. After our meeting with Nucky Thompson. I never saw this money. I've never met Nucky Thompson. I am a natural born US citizen and the treasury department official and i you what did you just forget his line <laughs> i just wanted to say thank you for what coming to my rescue like a prince in a fairy tale he's probably going to kill you now he doesn't really need you anymore and that man mr pernsley what happens to him what would you like to happen I think you should make him fuck me as punishment. A tree. Some rope, perhaps. Well, why not? <laughs> End of the line, girl. How did Dickie know what hotel to find you in? I... He was very You said resourceful. yourself resourceful. I was lying. No! 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 I hope you stole her jewelry. Didn't just leave it behind. Who was calling? The uh, county assessor's office. I'm sorry to have to bring this up, sir, but there are three years back taxes due on the property at mile marker four. Uh, is that the guy from the train? Who hired him to kill that dude? Let me in. Let me in. She's got no identification, sir. We're checking all the hotels. Yeah. Keep them back and get her out of here. Is it just a coincidence that they stopped here to kill her? Or was that planned? 